Hello, everybody, and welcome to Good Morning Preschool. I'm Miss Cindy, and I've missed being with you. It's Christmas time. As you can see, I've got my Christmas tree up, and I've got my friends Charlotte and Pip. And I thought that maybe today we could sing some songs and read some stories and maybe visit the birds outside on my deck. It's snow today. Lots and lots of snow out there. And maybe go see the chickens. They've grown up so much. They don't like the snow too much. They didn't like it on their feet this morning. But I'd also like to say good morning and hello and Merry Christmas to a bunch of my friends that I've missed very much. Hi, Edmund. I miss you. I hope you're having a good Christmas. I heard that you have a new little brother, Josiah. I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas together. And Annabelle and Hannah and Jude, I miss you guys. You have to draw me some pictures and send them to me. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. And Sam and Henry. Hi, Sam. I miss you, Sam. Miss you, Henry. Hope you guys are having fun down in Kentucky. We miss having you around here. And Anna and Timothy and Beckett and Medi and Jocelyn and my friend Barbara in South Africa. Hi, Barbara. Hope you have a wonderful Christmas. And my kids and little cherubs. Iris and Elizabeth and Carter and Abby and Victor and Mary Jane and Tommy and Claire and Sienna. I love you guys. I get to see you guys tomorrow. And my friend Claire and Jake. Hi, Claire and Jake. Miss you guys. And Marley and Sadie and all of my other friends that used to join me for Good Morning Preschool. I thought we'd get together today and just have some fun. We'll read some stories, we'll sing some songs, and we'll learn about baby Jesus' birthday because that's what Christmas is all about. So thanks for joining me. I'd like to read to you one of my very favorite Christmas stories. It's the true story of Christmas, about when baby Jesus was born. And I have my two friends here, Charlotte and Pip. I wish I had you guys here. I love reading stories. Well, this one's called The Christmas Promise, and it's by Allison Mitchell, and the pictures are by Catalina Echeverry. They're really neat. So The Christmas Promise. I got this idea for this book from Annabelle and Hannah and Jude. Their mama came into our classroom and read it last year, and I loved it. Here we go. A long, long time ago, so long that it's hard to imagine, God promised a new king. He wasn't any ordinary king, like the ones we see on TV or in books. He would be different. He would be a new king, a rescuing king, a forever king. And do you know what? One precious night, God kept his Christmas promise. Would you like to know how he did it? The Christmas story starts with an angel. Whoosh! He came from God to see Mary. The angel had a special message. Mary, you're going to have a baby. He will be a special baby. God promises that your baby is going to be king, not for a little time, but forever and ever. He will be the forever king. Mary was going to marry Joseph, so God sent another angel. Whoosh! He came to see Joseph. The angel had a special message. Mary's going to have a very special baby, the angel said to Joseph. Her baby is going to be king and will rescue his people. He will be a rescuing king. God had promised that his new king would be born in a little city called Bethlehem, and that's where Mary and Joseph went. But Bethlehem was very busy with lots and lots and lots of people. So when the baby was born, he had to sleep in a manger instead of a bed. All the other mangers in Bethlehem held food for hungry animals to munch, but this manger held a tiny baby. He was God's special new king. The shepherds in the fields had such a surprise. It was quiet and dark, and the sheep were snoozing when whoosh! An angel popped into the sky. Now the sky was bright, and the shepherds were so, so scared, but the angel had a special message for them. I love this part. Don't be afraid. I have wonderful good news for you, the angel said. God's chosen king has been born tonight. He's going to rescue his people, just as God promised. He will be the rescuing king. 
Then lots and lots of other excited angels joined the celebration. The shepherds were really excited. They went rushing to see the new king, and there he was, lying in a manger, just as the angel had said. But they weren't the only ones who had heard the good news about the promised new king. Some wise men, living far, far away, had also been sent a message. It was quiet and dark, and they were watching the stars when, whoosh, a new star popped into the sky. The star had a special message. The wise men knew what it meant. A very special king had been born, the king for all God's people. This child was the promised new king. The wise men were so excited, they went on a long journey to see the new king. And there he was, just as the star had shown them. He was a little bit older when they found him. Everything God promised came true. There are lots and lots of different kings in the world, but God sent the greatest king of all. He sent a new king, a rescuing king, a forever king. And do you know what this king's name is? His name is Jesus. There he is. And on the last page of this book, it says, How do we know about the Christmas promise? The main events of the first Christmas were written down for us by Matthew and Luke in the New Testament part of the Bible. You will find them in Matthew 1 and 2 and in Luke 1 and 2. But God started making promises about his new king thousands of years before Jesus was born. You will find some of these promises in the Old Testament. They include someone who will bring good to all people in Genesis, someone who will be king forever in Samuel and Daniel, and someone who will save all kinds of people in Isaiah. Isn't that amazing? In the Old Testament, there were different verses that told us that Jesus was going to be born. God is just an amazing God, isn't he? And we have Christmas so that we can remember that special gift that God sent us, baby Jesus. And we give gifts to other people so that because God gave us a gift, we want to show them love too. So I hope you have a really, really nice Christmas. And remember that it's Jesus' birthday. One thing, one thing I love to do is feed the birds. We get so many different kinds of birds at our bird feeder. We give them sunflower seeds, and they come and they eat. Because when the snow's on the ground, it's hard for them to find food. So we really help them out. That's a little titmouse right there. We also have some juncos today, and a red cardinal, and a red-headed woodpecker. Ooh, there's a downy woodpecker. There's lots of birds. I love watching them. So here's the girls. They got all wrapped up last night because it was so cold. But that's their chicken coop and their chicken run. They hear me. Hi, ladies. Are you hungry? Would you like something to eat? Let's see if we can find them. Ugh. Undo everything. Hi, ladies. Well, hello, Miss Gracie. I know you've been alone for a while here, and it's cold. You don't like that snow on your feet, do you? All right, here we go. Let me come in. i got to move all this stuff. I know. I have treats for you. Hi, Luz. I have treats for you. Yes, I do. You're just going to have to give me a minute so I can get inside. All right? Please hold. All right. And here we have some. Look at we got treats cranberries and a little bit of salmon left over and some eggs. Yeah, look at yummies. Look at salmon. Ooh, gotcha. Whoop, over there. There's some eggs. Yummy. Special treats for them. Try to give them some eggs and some meat and some protein. Because that's what keeps them warm at night. It's very cold out here. The wind chill is about, ooh, five below. So it's cold. So ladies, you're happy? Yeah. That's my girls. That's my girls. Yeah. They're my good girls. Anybody lay me an egg today? That would be nice. All right. I'll see you in a bit.
was funny to see the chickens out there, wasn't it? They hate the snow. They don't like to get their toes cold, but they like their treats. And they're getting so big. You guys got to see them when they were little tiny babies and you watched them grow up on Good Morning Preschool. And that was fun. Well, how about we sing some songs? I have a couple of Christmas songs we can sing. One of them is called Baby Jesus, We Love You. And it goes like this. What did the cows at the manger say to baby Jesus in the hay? Moo, 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 moo. Baby Jesus, we love you. What did the sheep at the manger say to baby Jesus in the hay? Ba, 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 ba. Baby Jesus, we love you. What did the donkey at the manger say to baby Jesus in the hay? Hee-haw, hee-haw, baby Jesus, we love you. I love that song. It's very simple. Got another one. Oh, my kids from last year might remember this one. Put baby Jesus in here and close your hands. I've got a secret, the angel said. I've got a secret, Mary said. I've got a secret, Joseph said. I've got a secret, the shepherd said. Little baby Jesus is lying in his bed. And then we're going to sing him a lullaby. Bye, lo, baby Jesus. Bye, lo, baby Jesus. Bye, lo, baby Jesus, born on Christmas Day. Happy birthday, baby Jesus. And then we all know, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and a happy and healthy New Year. Thank you for tuning in to Good Morning Preschool. Bye-bye.